Hey, what is going on guys? Ben here and today I'm super pumped to be checking out all three models of the brand new iPhone 11 and help you figure out which model to get. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into it. Let's start off this video with the obligatory unboxing. We're gonna do all three phones simultaneously to save on time. So you can see, I picked up all three of the most popular colors of each phone. We got the 256 gig 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max in both midnight green and space gray, as well as the 11 in the new purple color. Now opening up the box, you can see we are greeted with the back side of the phone, which surprisingly comes unprotected and exposed out of the box, with only the front covered by a protective wrapper. Next in the box are our ear pods and our charger. However, this year new with all the pro models is actually a fast charger with a USB-C base port. Now this should give you roughly half charge in about 30 minutes, which is pretty respectable. And that concludes everything in the boxes. So with that, let's just jump right on into the actual review of these brand new phones. All right, so I'm gonna break this review into four different segments that I think are the biggest features of this new phone. And that is the color, the screen, the battery life, and the camera. So let's start with the most obvious change, the color. So every iPhone released this year comes in a variety of new colors. The 11 now comes in black, white, red, yellow, green, and this new purple color, which I have here. The 11 Pro comes in the classic white and gold, as well as space gray, although the space gray color this year is slightly different from last year. But Apple also added a new midnight green color to the mix, which actually looks more like an olive or a camo green, but I still think it looks really nice. Now, Apple also improved the screen of this new iPhone. Apple claims to be using a much more durable glass on both the front and the back of this phone. Now, while I'm not willing to test this with a drop, I was worried that even if it is more durable, the matte coating that are on parts of the back, whether it's the camera bump on the 11 or the main glass back on the 11 Pro, would be more scratch resistant than the glossy 10S. So I did the most sensible thing that I can think of and took a pair of keys to the back of the new iPhones. You can see that this metal key left no visible marks on either the iPhone 10S or the 11 Pro. So both phones seem fairly scratch resistant to me. Apple also improved the screen on this new iPhone, making it a little bit brighter, widening the overall color gamut and improving face ID just a bit. Although you won't really notice these differences unless directly comparing it to the previous gen iPhone. Other than this, all the screens on all the models of the new iPhone are almost identical to their predecessors with the iPhone 11 having the same LCD display as the 10R and the 11 Pro models having the same OLED panels as their iPhone 10S counterparts. The real difference in these new products comes from the improved battery life and the brand new camera systems. The iPhone 11 is supposed to get 17 hours of video playback, while the iPhone 11 Pro gets 18, and the 11 Pro Max gets a whopping 20 hours of video playback. Now these represent a four to five hour increase over the previous iPhones, which is the biggest jump in any iPhone ever. Now the cameras on these new phones is where they really shine. Both phones feature a standard camera lens, as well as a new 120 degree ultra wide angle lens, while the 11 Pro retains the same telephoto zoom lens we all know from the previous 10S. Now Apple has done a ton of software magic to make zooming in and out while switching between lenses so seamless it's as almost if it was one camera system. Now this new wide angle lens we can see on both iPhones is single-handedly my favorite feature of the new iPhone 11 series. It lets you get really dramatic wide angle shots compared with the previous iPhone, which will definitely be great for scenic photos. All right, now as you can see this wide angle lens is great for vlogging as well and with the new audio zoom feature it eliminates all background noise making this perfect for travel vloggers or anyone who wants to film a vacation video or really just anything and you can even use this underwater since it is waterproof up to four meters for 30 minutes so it's pretty nice Apple also added a night mode and improved HDR mode to both of these models, which help you get improved shots in extreme lighting scenarios. Video also looks fantastic on these new phones with more vibrant colors, better dynamic range, and sharper details as you can now record in 4K 60 frames per second on any of the cameras, including the front facing selfie camera. So now that we've talked about all the new features of these brand new iPhones, you're probably wondering which one you should get. And I'm sure you're also probably trying to figure out what the differences between the 11 and the 11 Pro are. And I don't blame you because there really isn't much. Battery life on the new iPhones is a little bit better than the 11, but with the Max, that's to be expected considering its size. And besides the telephoto lens on the back of the iPhone 11 Pro, there really aren't any other noticeable differences. That is why at a $700 price tag, 
I 100% recommend the iPhone 11 over the $1,000 iPhone 11 Pro. I think Apple has hit this phone out of the park and this is by far the best valued iPhone Apple has made in years. I really can't recommend anyone get the iPhone 11 Pro over the iPhone 11 unless that OLED screen, that extra hour or so of battery life, or that third telephoto camera lens are really killer features for you for that extra $300 price tag. Or maybe you just have a little bit extra cash to spend and you want the best of the best. Anyway, with that, that has been my review of the brand new iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, and iPhone 11 Max. Hopefully I helped you make your decision on which one to buy. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Also comment down below letting me know what you thought. And if you wanna see more videos coming out in the future, like my new Apple Watch Series 5 video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Anyway, that's been it. Thanks, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Peace. Beep.